program start until 1.5. We hope to build students' leadership skills and we hope that they can develop their own conservation uh, programs. Finally, they have to pitch the programs to the audience and we hope they can launch the programs and bring benefit to the communities. Our name comes from like the first part, it's like eco, so we want to be eco-friendly, so everything we want to do is like helping the environment. And then the part, the second part is like roots, is like we want to be rooted in what we do. There's three things, the three A's, improve access, increase awareness, and inspire action. This is most versatile like, because it addresses continuity. It's all about changing the way people think. Our plan is to like create um, single working gardens in school because we realize that like students and schools are like, the main part to like our next future. And if we like educate our students that like people might change the way they eat. We didn't really start building a garden yet. We had this like, a week program during spring breaks. And so during that week, we got to learn about the environment. And after that, every other week we met we learned a central step to like making our project successful. So first we had a different speaker come and then we'll learn about like project management and plan out our finances for our project. The garden is just basically limited to improving access to sustainable food people would want to eat. But we'd like to use it as um, a springboard for education to amplify the effect of our other two points. For such an, uh, a modern society, our attitudes to the world around us is, is inherently selfish and outdated. So I guess the Chinese practices may be unique as a tradition, but it won't hold up if everyone in the world acted like us. <laughs>